in economics. Economics in university also. Wonderful. It's a great pleasure having you in the show with us. Now, who's ready to go with the first question, by the way, to Shakuntala Devi? Well, shall I start? Why okay. don't you do that? Okay. We'd rather start with the head of the department for mathematics. Right, okay, <laughs> yes. Now, um, I wonder if you'd like to have a go at this one. Um, I, I, I think uh, it is best, the thing is written on the blackboard. All can right, give then. It to okay. Read. Well, I, I, I've got it written out here. Perhaps I can just give it to you, sure. and you can Thank put you. it on the board. Baj, would you please uh, do us a favor and write sure. it on the board? Very much so. Okay. No need to write the okay. words. Okay. Right. Oh, no, okay. Please don't write All the right. words. It confuses me. Um, kindly do me a favor. No commas okay. and no cube root like okay. that. Right. Just put a root over sign. Okay. I should be seeing only the numbers okay. and nothing else. 3T1, 373, 3T1, This is the question. Would you put the root over sign yeah. so that I know it's a root? Yeah. yeah. No, put a 3 there, please. Huh. The answer to this number, 692. Yes, that's correct. Is that correct? correct? Yes, oh, that's correct. Thank you very much. <laughs> 692. That's the answer. Yeah. Okay? That's great. Amazing. Thank you. It's amazing. Now, yeah. tell me something. In normal yes. circumstances, to calculate that, suppose the computers were not available, what are the alternative methods of doing this? Well, you'd have to do it by, you'd have to do it by trial and error. You could split it up into three groups of three, and you could make an intelligent guess as to what the number would be. To, but to be absolutely sure of getting the correct answer would be very, very difficult. And to do it that quickly is, well, just amazing. Just amazing. Normally, yes. what, how much time would it have taken for even a, a, a brilliant student to do that, for instance? For certainly a few minutes. A very, very clever student would certainly take a few minutes. Um, and that would, be, that would be remarkable in itself, I think. Wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. Roger, Thank do you yes. have another question? Well, well, yes, I've got, uh, I've got, a I've got another one here. Um, how about finding the value of 7 to the power of 7? 7 raised to the power of 7? Yes. Put, please. yes. 7 raised to the power of 7. Uh, yes, I got the answer. Uh, please see. The answer is 8. Please write down. Please write down. 8, 2, 3, 5, 4, Three. This is the answer. Would you like me to do it step by step for you? Well, no. You I got think a computer. No, I'm going to do it step by step. You got a computer with you. Let's see. Let's race against it. Come on. Come All on right. now. Well, I Yay. don't know. Seven I don't know whether I can press oh. my finger. <laughs> <laughs> Come, on. Come on. Let's see no, how quickly wait you can press it. <laughs> seven multiplied by seven is equal to forty-nine. Right. Forty-nine multiplied by seven is equal to three hundred forty-three. <laughs> three hundred forty-three multiplied by seven is equal to two four zero one. Two four zero one multiplied by forty-nine is equal to one one seven six. Four nine. That's correct. Right. That's one one seven six four nine multiplied by seven is equal to eight. Back to Roger. Or would you prefer to take all the I'll, questions? I'll from do Roger's first. Okay, fine. Proceed. Roger. Well, yeah. my next one's a bit more complicated, and it's to do with um, buying items and selling them and making profit. Uh, will, will that be all right? <laughs> no problem. But w with explain money? it to me clearly. Okay. And let uh, Bart write it. Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll say it slowly first yes. of all. A man buys items. A yeah, man. Who at, buys items? Well, perhaps a woman as well. But, okay. Uh, <laughs> buys items at 80... I almost thought you're chauvinistic, you know. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yes. 83 for 23 cents. 83 for... 83, no, 83. For, for, okay, I got it. Doesn't for, matter. If yes. You, yeah, you okay. write it. He that buys, doesn't mean you should he buys, give up writing. He buys, uh -huh. put buys there. 83 for... Buys, 83 uh, for... For, F-O-R, yeah. yes. Uh, for... F O R. F O R. F O R. F O R for yeah. For twenty three uh, cents. Twenty three cents. Okay, yes. Twenty three uh, cents. Yes. And he uh. sells them. Mm-hmm. For. At a hundred and thirty one. Hundred and thirty one. For thirty seven cents. For thirty seven cents. Yeah. Now these numbers are a bit nasty. No, I, don't worry. Be right? nasty. Okay. Come on, be nasty. <laughs> yeah. And. He makes a profit of thirteen dollars yeah. and thirty-four cents. Yes. Thirteen dollars and thirty-four cents. Right. Uh -huh. Now I'd like you to tell me how many items did he sell? It's a big number. Yeah. Two, five, zero, zero, seven, nine. That's absolutely right. Thank That's you. Absolutely right. What is that yes. again? 
25,000... Uh, 250,079. And I'm, I might say I deliberately rigged that, and so you can't... There's no simple way of, uh, of making it more simple. You just have to do the arithmetic. You, the, the numbers there are all as nasty as I could think of. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, but... <laughs> incredible. Thank you. Hearty congratulations. Thank you, that is just incredible. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Uh, Roger, do you have another one to... Uh, uh, you said something. Yeah, I hope my students are not listening to this, <laughs> yes. but anyway. Um, uh, we'll keep what, it strictly confidential. What day of the week was I uh, born if I was born on the 10th of March, 1940? Sunday. That's what my mother tells me anyway, <laughs> so I guess it's right. <laughs> messy or, that, that looks messy all right there. 654-3216, the cube root of this number, multiplied by the fourth root of 389. Four five six divided by this is it? Yes. Divide. Yes, yes. Oh, you forgot to put this. Yeah, See, right. uh -huh. yeah, right. that that's could it. land yeah, me in a mess it. now. Right. <laughs> no? okay. okay. Now six five four three two one six cube root of this number multiplied by the fourth root of three eight nine four five six whole thing divided by the square root of four nine four five six four six. Right. Right. Six places of this. Okay. I only have it to two. I'll give you six. six. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can verify. Four point. Correct. So eight. Five. Right? Right. 4.8. Four, five places more? Zero, 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 zero. <laughs> right. Okay. That was just a right. funny. Z eight digit numbers. Yes. Okay, fine. I'll look at it once it is written down. Mm -hmm. Okay, now <laughs> the question is two, four, five. 93728 multiplied by 38722136. Now tell me, Ayas, you want me to give you the answer from this side to this side or this side to this side? Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I don't think I want the answer. <laughs> what a choice. Well, okay, go, tell me, go backwards. On. I think let Chandrasekhar decide. Yeah. Chandrasekhar, do you want the answer from this side to this side or this side to this side? No, we'll keep the uh, unconventional method later on. Let's uh -huh. go the conventional route first. This way you mean? Yeah, we have enough problem digesting the whole <laughs> multiplication. No, no, so. this way? Yeah. This way? Uh, why don't we do it differently? What about, what about the panel? Would you prefer the other way? No, we Whichever should start from the left. From okay. this way. Yes. Left right? yes. Okay, I got right. the answer already. The answer is 9, 5, 2, 3, 2, 1, um, uh, 6, 8, 0, 3, 6, 3, 0, 0, 8. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't believe if that was right. Is it right. correct? It's <laughs> exactly correct. Absolutely right correct? Yeah. Thank right you. I, I, geez, I, I can't believe that. <laughs> Are you sure it's even one digit is not wrong there? Mm -hmm. The answer written down. I think here. All right. Thank you. you haven't got the answer there, I think. No, I have it here. Good. Okay. All right. 118 machines. 118 machines? Yes. yes. Can produce 73 items. Yes. Uh -huh. In seven and a half days. I see. Yeah, this is before free trade, by the right. way. Right. <laughs> yeah. How, how many items can 217 machines produce in 11 and 3 quarter days? 11 and 3 quarter days. Uh-huh. 210. That's right. Right? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Uh -huh. Okay. Thanks. Are you, uh, are you impressed by that uh, by any chance, uh, Christopher? Yes, I don't think half my class could get that, even with calculators. <laughs> limited time. It's Thank you. Quite incredible. Uh, do you have another question? Uh, no, I think that's... You're quite... That's, 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 that's that's quite don't you want to ask something in dates? Uh, yes. yes. Uh, how about my birthday? Yes. Um, May 6, 1972. 1972. Saturday. That's right. Right? Thank you. What about you, Ayaz? You know? um, okay, how about uh, September 6th, 1969? Saturday. That's right. Right. Thank you. Lauren, she's a human computer. And with us today is a panel, with a very exciting panel as well. Now, I guess uh, we wanted to now see a bit of uh, a demonstration with respect to the calendar and, and the dates during the year 1989. Shall we go for it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sean, why don't you start the get the ball rolling? Uh, Tell me a day. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Oh, Saturdays. Wednesday, yes. Give us all the Saturdays, the dates of the Saturdays. All the Saturdays this year? Yeah, from okay. January. I want from January 1st to December 31st. Oh, great. Fine. 
uh, the first Saturday in January is already finished. Okay. Saturday in January is 7, 14, 21, 28. February, Saturday falls on 4, 11, 18, 25. March, Saturday falls on 4, 11, 18, 25. April, Saturday falls on 1st, 8, 15, 22, 29. May, Saturday falls on 6, 13, 28, 27. June, Saturday falls on 3, 10, 17, 24. July, Saturday falls on 1st, 8, 15, 22, 29. August, Saturday falls on 5, 12, 19, 26. September, Saturday falls on 2nd, 9, 16, 23, 30th. October, Saturday falls on 7, 14, 21, 28. November, Saturday falls on 4, 11, 18, 25. December, Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I have the more, most amazing part to accomplish that. Shakula, again. I'll do one more item in this. Okay. Uh, how about giving me a date? Okay. Yes. Um, October. No, eight. just a date. Just I'll a tell you all the oh, dates. Just date? Date. Okay. Huh. Uh, the date? Okay. The 4th. 4th. I'll tell you all the days on the 4th, January to December now. Okay. 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 January 4th, Wednesday. February 4th, Saturday. March 4th, Saturday. April 4th, Tuesday. May 4th, Thursday. June 4th, Sunday. July 4th, Tuesday. August 4th, Friday. September 4th, Monday. October 4th, Wednesday. November 4th, Saturday. December 4th, Monday. Never read that. What happened here? Last item I'll do from backwards. Back. Would you like to give a date? Can you do the 13th? 13th. Why not? December 13th, Wednesday, November 13th, uh, Monday, uh, October 13th, Friday, September 13th, Wednesday, August 13th, Sunday, July 13th, Thursday, uh, June 13th, Tuesday, May 13th, Saturday, April 13th, Thursday, March 13th, Monday, February 13th, Monday, January 13th, Friday. Well, then let's start with the Friday the 13th, you know, we, any, we, before.